remember what I said. There is a substance that we've been eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I didn't, they didn't tell us about that. And that is why I don't like you. I can't like you. How am I going to like you? Nigga. I don't even know you. No. I'm supposed to love you. You know what compelled people to do that? This. <laughs> this substance. This substance is so dangerous that they feed it to a dog in Russia. They feed it to dolphins in the in the in the pools. And the dolphin will do exactly, and the dog will do exactly what the leader or the doctor or the practitioner want that dog or animal to do. And what is that? What is the one chemical? that would alter the brain waves and interfere with resonance. They call it starch. But what does starch contain? Sugar. Sana. So, Sana. while we are talking about talking, and finding faults in each other's, that's not too bad. If I call your name, Malcolm's grandson killed his wife. You think that boy was to be blamed? No. That's why I don't like you. I mean, Sinai. Then we ask, why are the African tribes at each other's throat? They eat the rawest form of cyanide. They call it cassava. Oh. <laughs> In Nigeria, they call it gari. Now, when I look at my African brothers eating gari, you think I feel good? You think I'm in a position? To criticize my brother when I know that this was a food given to us by the slave master. And that it was made in Portugal. Like the carrots. Oh, I don't want you to even believe that carrots escaped the rock, too. <laughs> <laughs> carrots was made in Holland. When I said in New York that carrots were artificial, well, you going to say that? On Gary Bird's show on WLIB in New York in 1985 84. When everybody's listening, you have to be out of your mind. That man is crazy. He's ignorant. This is what they said. And I understood. Because the cyanide is telling me the brother and the sister have to take that position. But they are unaware that carrots were made in Holland. Then one year later, Nova, Seeds of Tomorrow, came out with a program. Yes, carrots are artificial, and they were made by crossing what? The Queen Anne lace and the wild yam. They raped the wild yam. For you to you. We get into that later. But let me explain this. When God made a dandelion plant, and you see that dandelion plant releasing in the spring, those little balls that go into the air, when they be another dandelion plant, they come together and they ignite, and they call that a monocryotic union. That is a natural, natural chemical affinity union. A union that is based on chemical affinity, meaning that if it's simple, chemical affinity is simple. Don't let these babies <laughs> snow you because it didn't snow me and I didn't go to school. Okay? So it's simple. Chemical affinity means this. If you have the magnitude of 180 and 70 and 70 come in the proximity of 100, a hundred would naturally repel seventy because the resonance is greater. Am I right? But that makes sense. The resonance of one hundred is greater than seventy. So for there to be chemical affinity with a hundred, it has to be what? 
A hundred. Mm. Is that the way it is? Yes, that is the way nature is functioning. But out of that particular understanding comes many things now. Because if nature is showing that this plant, that plants only pollinate one of its own kind, then what's happening when I have a baby with a white woman? You see? These are the things that we are not aware of. The affinity, the resonance is different. Not that. But we have to be careful. Because the message that I come with is not mine, I said. It's a message of life. So as we find that affinity plays a role, we have to respect that. But we are not in the position to do so now because we are eating cyanide. 